Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Band Crashers. In Band Crashers, what I do is I take one of my guitars, I find somebody playing somewhere, and I go in unannounced and challenge somebody in the band to play one of my guitars unannounced. Okay, I think I said unannounced in the longest sentence you've ever heard before. Anyway, so... Let me give you a little setup. There's this guy I know named Richie. Richie Vanderwick. If you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. Anyway, Richie has an old pickup truck and he's got a set of Slingerland drums that are like Coveter's Corner, Coveter's Paradise, just to die for. Except every time I've seen Richie play the drums, they're in the back of this old pickup truck, like a 30s model, 40s model pickup truck. And I don't think Richie can play the drums unless he's in a pickup truck. Now, every time I've seen him play, the pickup truck was parked. I don't know if he plays better when the pickup truck is moving down the road or when it's parked. Anyway. I need you to kind of grasp who Richie is, and you're going to be able to tell from seeing a hat that looks like this and a beard and an old pickup truck. Anyway, I'm going to help you identify Richie by showing you a clip of Richie right now. Let's go. <laughs> Time that you are in Ventura, California, cultural capital of the world, on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those days come in a row that will help you remember. Those are the days that you don't work. Well, Friday, maybe some of you do, maybe some of you start slacking off. But anyway, there's a place in Ventura called Fluid State. Fluid State. It's at the corner of Pine and Main Street, uh, southwest corner. Yeah, southwest corner. Anyway, there's a parking lot there. You will find Richie there. And I'm just going to call this uh, Richie's Sideshow. Richie's, Richie's Sideshow because you don't know what Richie's going to have. Richie's going to be there in his old truck. But you don't know what he's going to have. Uh, he might have Paris Slim. He might have uh, Albuquerque Joe Warner. He might have a kazoo player. He might have a polka band. He might have an aerial circus. He might have a petting zoo. You don't know what Richie's going to have in Richie's sideshow. Okay. So let's get back to where we were going with this. In this episode, we're going to look at Richie's sideshow. And um, I got there on this particular day because right down the street, y'all don't need to worry about this. Don't pay any attention right now. Guitar 48 is there. My friend Rob is at Guitar 48. Guitar 48. Again, you'll forget all about this as if I'm hypnotizing you because I go in and I see what Rob has. I bring Rob stuff, he knows what I'm looking for. Like this Ventura semi hollow body with gold package that I got from Rob at Guitar 48. Now, I'm gonna do a couple things with this guitar, like get Chick Flick Teal Pointer, and we're gonna replace the truss rod cover. We're going to match book up the neck and we're going to California something in here. Now, if you are coveting this very badly, you can send me an email. My link is down below or at the end of the video, the very end. This way would be the end. If it's the start for you, then turn it around. But get a hold of me. This is a 70s 
maybe even a 60s model, we know that the headstock doesn't have the open book. So this was uh, after the Gibson stuff, where Gibson made them stop using the open book headstock. We've talked about that in an episode called Lawsuit Guitars. Anyway, you got to have this thing. You better get a hold of me pretty quick, and you better have some $100 bills. Anyway, I go to see Rob, and right down the street is this parking lot at Fluid State with Richie's Sideshow. So on this particular day, I had the Texas Junk Pile with me. You all know and covet the Texas Junk Pile. And Joe Warner was there from Albuquerque visiting, and he picked up the Texas Junk Pile. And, well, I'm not going to talk about it. You just look at it right now and then tell me what you think. Well, I'm going to wait to leave ya. Won't be back no more. From way down south, child, don't fall. I got trouble on my way home. Well, I can't wait to be satisfied. Well, I know my little old baby, she gon' jump and shout. Let her train be laid for the night, walking out. I got trouble on my wounded Just can't well be satisfied. Okay, you cannot beat that. In addition to Joe Warner, you had R.J. Mishu on the harmonica, you had Alvin Blaine on the slide guitar, you had Hank Van Sickle on the bass, and then, of course, you had Richie on the drums and, again, Joe Warner on the Texas Junk Pile. So, um, 
where was I at? Oh, you're too busy looking at this. I mean, be one or buy one. Get a hold of me if you like this uh, Ventura guitar. So, don't forget to give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, we're going to be doing some work on the Texas Junk Pile next in an episode called Flossing Your Arch Top. Flossing Your Arch Top. There will be a link right up there right about now. Um, I haven't made it yet, but when you're watching this episode 15 years from now and you're going, man, that can never age as well, that's not true because... Um, I took the Hubble telescope and investigated what I thought might have been an age spot right up here. Uh-oh, I'm going to lose my sponsorship from Paul Mitchell Hair Prize. But anyway, it turned out to be a false alarm. Anyway, you just give me a subscription and a like, and I will see you next time. Maybe even at Richie's Sideshow. See ya.